Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to the Google Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, I want to teach you how you can uh, make a very simple logo for business or any kind of uh, um, any kind of stuff you want to use it for. Either whether you want to use it to make your letter paper, you want, you want a transparent logo or watermark or whatever. I want to teach you a monogram logo very easy with the initial so let's take it for instance you have a business that started with uh let's say x and uh, d so let's say we uh let me say um my name is sunday then i design so i can say s design let me sd so i will teach you how you can make an sd monogram logo the first thing we need to do come here select this shape Okay. So you can increase the size to suit your text. Go to the color, change the color to black, then position it to the center. You can copy this. So after you copy, change the color. Sorry. then tap on it again reduce the size very well very well then reduce the size very well if possible let it long okay perfect what you need to do is to position to the center then you move it down in okay very cool so let it come up a bit so this is cool right so after you're able to do this then the next thing we need to do is to cut it out so you want to tap another shape and i have that position here now you can match the third together go to erase color erase them then this is the shape we are looking for you can now reduce the size you can see or better still if you don't want that you can still readjust okay tap here reduce and increase center it reduce and increase sorry just to make it simple bring it up position now it's cool now right cut out reduce the size just as this very good let it be like this after that what else do we do we can copy return it back to the normal position so we have this just to form the S okay so we are going to add more to that then you can see that we are able to form that go to the shape and crop a shape like this okay so you just make sure that it's right so you can have this shape make sure it's right including the mouth change the color to black sorry please So just make sure you change the color. You can reduce the size a bit. To so tap on the shape again. Okay, then you move it up a bit. 
Move it up a bit. Sorry, please. So after that, just make sure that uh, you are able to position that uh, to save the amount. So when you are done with that, then the next thing we need to do is to put a finishing touch to that. How can we form our D? That's the next thing. So we need to go here. You select the shape, increase the shape very well because this is the shape we are going to use. Okay. So after selecting that shape, we are going to go in there, change it like this. Okay. After you are able to change it, we are going to pick the mouth here. Let it be like this. Go to opacity. So reduce the opacity. So we need to make sure that it cover. But can it cover this particular area? Or we use another one to form that. So let's see. If the hedge can be rhymed with this, let it calm down a bit. So dozing is no rhyme. Move it up. Okay. Okay. So if that should be the case, we have that one here. So we can reduce the size. To see whether it will work. And we shouldn't go much back. So instead, we can go to the shape. So have this shape, just as this. Then reduce the opacity. So we can actually make this to form it. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this, the next thing we need to do is to go to so let's go to what we can use to cut it out or better still we use this we just need to reduce the size so reducing the size we will have this because it has to start from here so only things we need to do is to centralize it okay and it should be boom like that so after that the next thing we do is to target and see clearly before we cut it out the same thing applicable to this so make sure it actually run Okay, so when we look at it, is it working the way we want? So even after shifted, so this is cool, right? So the next thing we need to do now is to change the color. Then you go back to where you select it. Sorry. Go back to where you select it and you make your opacity to be counted. You apply the same thing here. But make sure that it, it centralized. centralize it so that there won't be any error then after that shift this one a bit back and you cut it out okay perfect sorry we are going to merge this together then go to opacity reduce the opacity for you to be able to see clearly then after you are able to do that select what you want to use this white shape to cut it out so position it around here so this should be better just position it around here now merge it together So go to your rich color. Sorry, before merging, remember to unlift this from opacity. 
and you merge these together. After that, go to the color, erase the color completely. Now, this is where we want to do our work. So we need to position this here. Then we are good to go. The mouth is where we are going to close. So we can rotate this a bit, a bit. And we can use, just let it be once. So we can use this to streamline everything. So go to rotation. Then after that you can move. Okay, perfect. So now we have it as you can see. So the next thing we need to do we already lost something so we need to fix the two mouths so the first one here have to be fixed so it's good we are going to use the same thing so let it form so just change the color or turn to opacity first for you to see clearly So let it come down once okay then tap on it and uh, the radio should be reduced okay then go to the color i mean to the opacity increase the color change it to black now copy okay then we are going to just uh, fix the mouth here so we can cut the rest out anyway. So let first of all go to this. Have we cut out? Okay, perfect. Now, the next nice thing we need to do is to make sure this work. So let it come down. Okay, this is cool. So what we need to do next is to adjust the second one as well. Up a bit. Cool. Now we form our logo. This is SD logo. So you can just put a kind of a stuff here. You also reduce the size, change the color to something like red anyway. Okay, perfect. Then the next thing you need to do is to merge everything together. Now we are done with our logo. And this is just a simple trick. Or now you can come up with a monogram logo on your Android smartphone using your PCL. So we can go in there, change the color. You can see. So put the brand name Satox, I mean Sassy, Sassy Designs. So just put the name there. Then you change the, uh, the test font. Then use Monitera or Unisense. Position this here. Have this one reduce a bit. Then you use your reality position. Change the color. Let's be two. First of all, change the whole color and you select the one you want to change next. So we are using black. Then change to red. 
let me use whether i can see both font apart from this so let's use a little scat pattern okay then you can see now that uh, everything is cool increase the size a bit now we're good to go so we're done with our logo this is amazing right so you have this one saved then i will teach you how you can uh, place this uh, logo on a design i mean on the 3d markup so now this is done right so we can now go in there say with transparent background as you can see so after that we go back to so let's go back to our chrome browser so i'm getting to chrome browser tap on it and you go to photo p okay you allow it to load cancel after loading the next thing we need to do is to import our mockup and how can we do that tap of open from computer and click access it tap on it tap on file locate where you have the markup so take it for instance uh, the markup should be here so let's go to Okay, the mock-up is there. So when it's downloading, then we are going to tap it. I'm waiting. This is the markup we are using. Just tap slowly. Then nothing might seem to work. Don't worry. Just as a size patient, while you are looking at the screen of your phone, in no time you see it will respond to your typing, to your tapping then you can wait you see loading now that you see loading you wait once it's loaded it will open then after open we can proceed with the editing very very simple so while we are, while we are waiting i will uh, urge you to check the description of the video i will drop the link to this markup there tap here and tap double tap so when you experience this cancel please when you experience just drag to one side drag well and close now hide everything here hide it close tap on file open and place click on file locate yeah. the design yeah. we just made pixel up tap on it you wait for it to load, increase the size. So you can drag this, then you increase the size. Remember, the way you position it, that is how the output will be. Click on file and tap save open bracket smart object. Then after tapping, be looking at the screen of your phone. You see smart object updated. Tap here. Just once. Be looking at the screen. Then it will change. Transform in no time. After transformed, you can proceed with the other everything if you don't like the outlook. You just be waiting. Now you see the result is out. Tap on file, export as PNG. Save. You can see at the top the result is done. Then you can view, save the result. I believe. We'll learn something from here. Thanks for watching. God bless you.